Thomas Ravenel stopped by the South Carolina Election Commission on Monday to drop off the signatures that are required for him to run for a U.S. Senate seat. I was able to catch up with Mr. Ravenel afterwards and ask him what his next steps might be and why voters should separate his personal and professional life. Ravenel says that from now until November, he will treat his campaign like a new business, meaning fundraising and bringing people over to his team. We need to um, go around, talk to various groups, and gain support, garner support. I mean, take the primary. Those people have been campaigning. Uh, they had the advantage of starting early. You know, they've been campaigning a year. And we're just starting from scratch here. And... Uh, so we got a lot to do in terms of building this organization. Ravenel recently called himself an imperfect messenger after a 10-month stint in prison on drug charges, and more recently his time on Bravo's reality show Southern Charm, which he admits isn't doing him any favors. But Ravenel hopes voters will focus on the professional side of his life. The show portrayed me accurately, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, but it was in, I think, the weakest aspect of my life. You know, my personal life has always been sort of my Achilles heel. Uh, where I'm strongest, I think, is in business, in the boardroom, and, um, you know, I've had a lot of accomplishment in that, in that particular field. Accomplishments Ravenel hopes will be enough to get him the win in November, which would mean trumping Republican incumbent Lindsey Graham and Democratic candidate Brad Hutto. Ravenel says he's itching to get into the Senate to begin addressing multiple problems he says he sees in our government. Government should be like a layered cake, federal, state, local. You know, not like what we have now is like this jumbled marble cake where the tentacles of government are all, uh, the federal government, are in every aspect of our lives. And Ravenel hopes voters are willing to look past the aspects of his life that have landed him in the headlines for the wrong reasons. In Columbia, Stephanie Helling, Watch Fox News.